Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Marley and the Runaway Pumpkin. This is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. Okay, let's get started. Marley and the Runaway Pumpkin. This is the title page, Marley and the Runaway Pumpkin. Late one day in fall, Daddy, Cassie, and baby Louie went out to the garden to look at their pumpkin. Wow, it looks like they're measuring the pumpkin, huh? All summer and fall, the family tended the pumpkin. They gave it food and water, sun and shade, and plenty of room to grow. All summer and fall, they kept their big puppy, Marley, out of the garden. I guess they didn't want the dog Marley to mess up the pumpkin. So here it started, it was just very, very tiny. Then it got a little bigger. And then look how big it is now, it's huge. Now the pumpkin was round, it was orange, and it was very, very big. Will it win a prize? Cassie asked. Daddy nodded proudly. We might even win a blue ribbon, he said. But first, we have to get the pumpkin to the fair. The next day, Daddy stiffed the pumpkin from the vine. Mommy helped Daddy roll the pumpkin to the truck. Marley batted up the pumpkin. That's not a ball, Marley, said Mommy. That's our blue ribbon pumpkin. I guess the dog thinks it's a ball, but it's not a ball, it's a pumpkin. Daddy tied Marley up. Sorry, Marley, he said, but we can't let you mess up our blue ribbon pumpkin. Then Daddy and Mommy tried to lift the pumpkin onto the truck. It's too big to lift, said Mommy. What will we do? asked Cassie. Uh-oh, with two people, they're still not strong enough to lift the pumpkin because it's so heavy. Daddy went inside and came back with the ironing board. Well, look, here's the ironing board right here. This can be a ramp, he said. Cassie helped mommy and daddy roll the pumpkin up the ramp. At last, the pumpkin was ready to go to the fair. Everybody got behind the pumpkin so mommy could take a picture. Say blue ribbon, said mommy. Marley wanted to be in the picture. He tugged at his leash. Marley broke free and ran toward the truck. No, Marley! cried mommy. Oh my goodness, look, they're trying to stop him from coming. They don't want him to mess up the pumpkin. Marley made a giant leap and landed right on top of the pumpkin. The pumpkin rolled out from under Marley. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Oh my goodness, it looks like the pumpkin's rolling down the street and everyone's running after it. Oh my goodness. The pumpkin rolled out of the truck and down the ramp and then it kept on rolling. Marley ran after the pumpkin. Daddy ran after Marley. Cassie ran after Daddy. And baby Louie sat down and cried. Oh my goodness. Look at, all, look at this picture I see. It's on a skateboard. And there's a trash can. The pumpkin crashed into the trash can, but it didn't slow down. It bounced onto a scooter, but it didn't slow down. Then the pumpkin rolled up behind the mailman. Look out for the pumpkin, yelled Cassie. The mail carrier jumped out of the way. I almost lost my letters, said the mail carrier. <gasps> oh no. Look out for Marley, yelled Daddy, but it was too late. Marley ran into the mail carrier. Down with the mail carrier, over went Marley. Crash with the pumpkin at the bottom of the hill. <gasps> oh no, what happened? It looks like the mail carrier fell, but the pumpkin is destroyed. This is awful, said Cassie. Mommy gave her a hug. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, she said. And when life gives you a smashed pumpkin, make pie. Back at home, Cassie helped mommy and daddy bake pie. Lots and lots of pie. 
Wait, look at all this pie, friends. I've never seen so much pie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they're making more? The pie was so good, it won first prize at the fair. Oh my goodness. So even though their pumpkin didn't win a prize, their pie was able to win a prize. It was a blue ribbon pumpkin after all, Cassie said. Look, here's a sign that says first prize. And here's a ribbon that they're giving to mommy and daddy. And look, baby Louie, looking at all the pies. I see a blueberry pie over here. Maybe that's a lemon meringue pie. Maybe that's a raspberry chiffon pie. Maybe there's some sort of rhubarb pie. This looks like an apple pie over here. And best of all, there was plenty of pie to share. And look, there's Marley eating some pumpkin pie, and there's Mommy, and there's Daddy, and there's Louie, and there's Cassie. So that was the end of the book. I can read Marley and the Runaway Pumpkin.